curfew? No. Go remind them. You chase them down, and you give them a severely deadly beating, is what? Okay, yeah, I got it. No point in severely deadly beating. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the Regent, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens, no pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. your ration of elixir from today? Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens, no pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Attention, citizens. No pedestrian movement. 
is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. my patrol. Shut up. and visitors to our city by order of the curfew is now active no foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's bridge until curfew is lifted attention all citizens no pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's bridge during this period curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise Probably rats into everything. I heard. Curse the plague and this blasted curfew. How is anyone supposed to make a living? Well now, Mr. Pratchett. Even a wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right. And the weepers, excuse me, the plague victims are worse. Are you saying the Lord Regent is wrong for imposing curfew? It won't do you any good to bait me, officer. But don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll profit. 
Rivers change course over many lifetimes, and eventually all bridges tumble down. A thousand years ago, there was another city on this spot. The people carved the bones of whales into runes and inscribed them with my mark. Children still find them washed up in the river mud. Anton Sokolov has made a great study of my runes, but he's not special like you are. He wasn't chosen, and he doesn't wear my mark, so he can't unlock their secrets. Sokolov believes there are specific words and acts that can compel me to appear before him. He searches old temples in Pendicia and ruined sub-basements in the flooded district. He performs disgusting rituals beneath the old abbey. But if he really wants to meet me, he can start by being a bit more interesting. Maybe wind or something. <clears throat> Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Chances are very good.
So horrible, like too. Now you listen to me. It's none of our concern. The howl. Hmm. That what might be worth checking out. Hurts. around I gotta stop oh, shooting again. Yeah. Nothing has to Outsider's eyes are getting spooked. Hopes and energies to Formula 25. Junction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night. What? How did you get past all the guards? Your tattoo is quite unusual. It is reminiscent of markings I've studied on cave walls far from the city. Who sent you? Piero? That child. There's no need to be his lap down. You and I can come to an agreement. One that I'm sure will please you more than anything Piero dreamed up. Who are you? What is it you want? Money? Elixir against the plague? I don't know how you got past all the defenses, but soon, if you wanted me dead, well, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Everything within my power to give you is yours. If you'll just let me go. I can see you are an intelligent man, so you understand there will be repercussions if you should harm me. I am the Royal Physician, head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Stay back! Have you no heart? Please! No more. Thank you, whoever you are. He kept me in a cage, like an animal. The pain is horrible right now, so I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. I'm 
yourself. You made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Set up his cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. Well done, Colonel. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with the time. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Normally, I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a humble craftsman here to serve. I'm working on a new arc pylon. It will perform absolutely stunning acts of destruction. Where do I find a good meal around here? If you think prison food's bad, you should see what the Abbey serves its captives. I think the overseers make it themselves. Lord Pendleton, memoirs, chapter four. Time of morning. In which I bed two of the boil. Attention Dunwall citizens, be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious offense. La di da, di da, di da. Pride in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying times and preserving the timeless beauty of our fair city. Corvo, wake up! 
You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city. The heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Sorry, Sokolov. No, not that. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know. I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle Estate. Tonight? The timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course. You already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. You'll know him. I rather... I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us what we need to know. He never actually liked the Lord Regent. The Boyle costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. The good news is, once you get to the party, 
That mask of yours but the blend right here. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of all. Better you than me. I think that old woman they call Granny Rags used to live around here. Makes sense that a lunatic like her would be neighbors with Lady Boyle.